Right, hi folks. Um, yeah, it's me, Coffee Snob Paul here. Um, I'm just going to do a very quick review um, on Contact Coffee Company, and that's the Red On Coffee. Um, heard about this uh, company through um, through friends that are in the army, and also um, through the SEG network. Um, and um, yeah, ordered some. Um, bought Battle Prep first of all. Um, tried it in my Sage coffee maker. Good bit of kit, by the way. Battle Prep makes a, a, a cracking, cracking espresso. But some of the lads uh, advised me to try Red On. Um, so I'm gonna go through the uh, preparation of uh, making some of this as an espresso shot or double shot and um, review it from there, okay? So um, wait out. So first off, um, most important factor when making an espresso um, that I find is uh, getting the correct amount of bean weighed out. Okay, so um, basically I aim for 18, 19 grams of coffee bean, um, and then I grind that down and make my espresso. So I do this basically, bang any receptacle on a, on a weighing machine, set it to zero, obviously. First and foremost, this bean smells absolutely delightful. Has an underlying smell of nuttiness, um, but honestly, whenever I check my beans, okay, <laughs> a bit weird, um, I always go for the sniff test. That bag smells stunning, okay? Always check as well um, on, the, on the pack when it was, uh, when it was Roasted. brewed and when it's, gonna, um, when it's gonna expire, okay? So have a good sniff, smells, Beautiful. Um, the, the the actual um, bean is is dark, which is nice to see. Um, doesn't necessarily mean it's uh, the darker it is that the, the full content of, of, of caffeine is in that bean. It just means it's been roasted longer, as far as I'm aware. Um, but this is a, a good bean, um, without a doubt. It's got a, a good shiny shiny uh, coat to the to the bean itself. So uh, happy with that. So we'll bang that uh, handful of bean into the weighing machine. Speak to you in a minute. So as you can see, we've got 18 grams of uh, red on coffee bean ready to go into the coffee machine grinder. Now, another important factor, I use the Sage coffee machine. It's a brilliant bit of kit. It is expensive, but I'm telling you now, um, it is a fantastic bit of kit. Now I've got my grind um, size on seven. I play about usually between seven and eight on the Sage. Um, gets a good grind on the go and um, pours in a, a superb espresso. So basically, we chuck the beans in the hopper, put the lid on the hopper, okay. So there's 18 grams of red on coffee bean in there, ready to go through the system and ready to make me a good morning espresso. So the next part of the process, we get the filter holder and the filter, I use a double filter because obviously I'm having a double espresso. Smash the basket into the holder, push the holder and basket into the machine. Let the machine do the business. So we have uh, our ground coffee and what we need to do now is basically tap it so that it, you don't waste any. Okay, so tap it carefully, make sure all the coffee sits nicely in there. We use a tamper device and we press down gently. Okay, what we tend to do Okay, especially as X and serving squaddies is go hell for leather on that because it's a tamper. We think we can smash it to fuck. Um, no need, okay? If you smash that too hard, you can end up with a really bitter coffee because obviously the water coming from the machine takes extra pressure to push the water through the coffee, okay? And you don't want to be forcing it. Okay, so we give it a wee clean. We place that then into the machine and the good bits next. Okay guys, always use, okay, a warm cup when making an espresso, okay? Not many people um, realize that, but if you get a nice warm cup, 
it just adds to bringing out that aroma of the coffee when it's poured, right? Don't use a cold cup, okay? So what we're gonna do now is um, press a double button. Now the aim of this is, is to get this needle, I always say this, okay? And I get fed up with it, but at the end of the day, get that needle, you need to aim to get that needle here, all right? So don't get it into the no-go zones. So the no-go zones are here, you'll have a very, very bit of coffee, and here, you'll have quite a weak coffee. So always aim to keep it around, it's quite hard to see and focus in, here and here, okay? So you press the double espresso button, or the double shot button. When a good espresso pours, it should look quite creamy and look like two rat tails hanging from the, uh, from the actual holder, which it is doing. take this over to the light a bit you'll see that that has a beautiful golden crema I can smell it it's thick and a good way of take or, or, or basically testing the uh, the thickness of the crema is to pour some a bit of brown sugar on the top now if it sinks the creme is too thin if it stays on top and it basically means it's a good good shot of espresso. I'm going to use a bit of white sugar. I have my black espressos black with no sugar. But if you look, just for this purpose, you'll see that the sugar actually stays at the top. Cheers, guys. Good health. That's a good brew. Beautiful. Thanks, contact coffee. Red on, spot on.